Well, I want to do a little little short video here. I'm working on my the drawings for my 12 foot nut hatch pram. Uh, I've already have the eight and the 10 foot done and I did the uh, 10 foot uh, before I had my YouTube account but I have numerous photos on uh, my Flickr account uh, but I wanted to um, people can been requesting the 12 foot and uh, I've got other boats in the in the works right now that I want to get to first before I get you know around to this but it's been on my my ductworks list of to-do projects for a long time uh, so I'll, I'm going to on this hull will be the first one that I will actually submit the plans to you uh, without actually having to build it. I've come to the conclusion now that after all the holes that I've uh, you know, done the drawings for, especially the basic uh, lofting plans and put together, that they're so close and I have so many videos now for you to uh, <laughs> look into the lens instead of myself and the uh, thing here. Uh, I've done so many videos now of pretty much your repeats of the same thing and I'm finding that my tank tests are holding up to be accurate uh, to uh, balance uh, for the hull, uh, full size hull in the water that I'm going to go ahead and just do the plans only uh, for this hull. I know I've seen a lot of other designers uh, with their plans listed uh, and uh, you know, there's usually no photos because all they are is just the, the uh, designer's drawings. So. Uh, I'm going to do that on this hull. I'm going to give you an option of two different versions. One will be a fishing uh, version and the other one if you want to build the uh, 12 foot sailing version. Uh, I will spend the extra time instead of building the hull into doing the drawing plans but this is, I'm going to put some photos in too showing you the different sizes of the uh, between 8 foot, 10 foot, and 12 foot, and eventually the 14 foot. But this is basically what it is uh, balanced on my string right now. So uh, I like it. It's going to be a big fella. Uh, if you put an engine on it, you'll have to have the long shaft drive because it's 20 inches on the stern panel. So uh, you will need the long shaft. And I like having these taller boats to give you a little more uh, uh, safety. You know, uh, a little more windage. It's going to be a little heavier, but this boat is beyond even my 10-foot nut hatch is beyond car topping unless you've got several friends and really to, ready to lift it. Uh, but this one is probably going to be in the 130, 140 pound range, depending on which one you build. So they're getting progressively bigger, and so you're going to need uh, the uh, a trailer to put these things around and it's just even with the tens and the twelves my other boats that I finished it's nicer to have a trailer than try to gouge them all up put them on the top of your truck uh, you might be able to get this one into the back of a, a full-size pickup uh, or even one of the smaller ones because I believe it's uh, about uh, 50 inches on the bottom side here around the beam the widest part so uh, full, a little pickup, you're going to probably have to set it in maybe sideways somehow, a full pickup may, uh, I don't know what they are, whether they're full 48 between the wheel wells or not, but it's, it's getting to be a little bit big to, to haul around like that. So let me go reset up with the, well, let me go ahead and see what it sets like here in my tank with my saran wrap coating. Okay, setting fairly high out of the water. Let me uh, pull the camera off the tripod here and we'll uh, do a uh, pan around. I find it's easier to do that with the camera than it is to, uh, well, maybe not. We'll see. I'll edit this. There she's sitting on, the, on her lines. I'm looking at about maybe three inches in the water. and just barely touching on the lower part of the side panel and then there's probably oh looks like it's pretty uniformly about three inches around maybe four right here ahead of the beam so let me go uh, reset up on the tripod again and put some people in this okay I just put Bubba my 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 big fella my 
300 pounder in the middle of the hull and it didn't really maybe it lowered it about an inch at the beam I don't really see any difference in the uh, in the stern and get up in behind here and okay let me give him a buddy let me put Bubba in the back on the fishing version which is about two feet off the transom and God, it didn't really sit it down that much. It squats down, and I'm still got, I still got the edges sticking out of the water. I mean, these boats are starting to get to the point now where weight placement's not going to be too much. Let's put a, give him his buddy. It was about a 250, 260. Set him on the middle seat. Okay, we're back in balance again. Okay, let's bring along Clyde, another big boy. We'll set him up front. What's Clyde done? Okay, he's tipped it a little bit, but we've got uh, three, six, eight, about 900 pounds of people in this thing. And uh, I'm quite happy. Let me go to, let's see, what am I going to do with, ah, excuse me, Clyde. Bring out Bubba. Okay, let's Bubba rowing by himself. I got 300 pounds in the middle again. Okay, let's put somebody in the stern to see whether or not I'm even going to worry about moving the seat. I'm not. This one will have, even on the sailing version, it will have a single. How much would I need to move him forward? Who have I got here? Yeah, Bubba's in the middle. Back to the level again. It doesn't really really make that much difference if you move the seat forward a foot. So I'm going to assume that Bubba... What's going to happen if I move this, this seat forward a foot? Okay, about the same difference. Okay. Let's stick somebody Clyde back in the bow here again. Okay, I've got a pretty good balance here. So, I know what I'm going to do now. Okay, okay, I've got my, my three buddies in the hull, and I've got an ant crawling up my leg. Get up. Okay. So let me... That's fully loaded. That's with about 900 pounds of people inside without a motor. But uh, uh, I haven't done the cal Coast Guard calculations yet on... Uh, and there's a good shot of the bow with the, the heavy load. And we've still got just the point of the pram part is down into the water. So I'm quite happy. Let's get rid of his buddies. We just got Bubba in there now. Okay. 300 pounder is going to work pretty good in there. So, so I'm, I'm happy now. Uh, I know how the boat is going to handle. It kind of gave me an idea from uh, when I was working on the design as to how it was going to float. And, and from uh, some of the experiences I've had with the uh, 
with the 10 foot nut hatch and then some of the other boats I built. Uh, this boat will float where you see it floating now if you don't uh, make too many changes to the plans and I'm happy enough now that uh, if you follow along on the instructions and follow the uh, lofting plans uh, you will have uh, uh, everything should come out right if you if you just follow it along and just take your time and, and uh, lay out the hull the way I show you to lay it out um, there will be some little tricks that I will add in on the notes so this set of plans will have a lot of extra notes and warnings and cautions and look out for so uh, which I would normally do on the video series but uh, you could probably go through and watch all the video series again and find that um, you know if you have a question about anything uh, that will happen this bow will also you will be using the spiling stick again to locate the edges and corners and radii of any of the interior panels because I'm found that no matter how many, you know, I could do all the panels and see and see and sell them as a kit, but as you put them together, there's a certain amount of variability in that comes into when you spread, you know, first wire up the hole, spread them the sides apart and put in that uh, beam spreader stick, you know, how high, how wide, you know, it's variable. You could be off by a quarter of an inch from this boat to that boat and that will make any attempt by myself to put in um, dimensions for the whole panels, the interior panels, uh, would make that a uh, mute question. So uh, you'll see me done it on the last boat and I'll probably do it uh, a little bit of that again We're using the spiling stick when I get around the electric uh, pedal craft, which I'm going to go down and get the plywood for here. If the weather improves, I believe we've had now five days since the 1st of January that has been at least 65 degrees. This is not one of them, but we're not flooded out like you poor people are down through the Midwest and the Mississippi. My prayers are with you down there. So we'll conclude this and um, I will do some more follow up video uh, like the one I had when I was uh, doing uh, all my computer talk on uh, on screen drawings. Uh, once I get some of the plants going, I will uh, push to post another video on this hole, the 12 foot nut hatch and uh, how I'm coming along with the plans. Uh, so until then, Red Barn Boat's out.